Hey guys, Eric here. So I've been planning to buy an electric car for a couple of years now, mainly because I strongly believe electric cars are the future. I'm also involved with clean energy and preserving our planet as much as possible. Hence, my mission has been to find an electric car that is great looking and at great price. And after doing my research, I found out the Tesla Model 3 fits my criteria perfectly. It's fully electric, it's high tech, it's reasonably priced, and it's a beautiful car in my opinion. Let's go with the configuration that I want to buy and how much it costs. So I'm on the Tesla website right now and I just click on the Model 3 link and it takes me to this page. As you can see here that this is a Model 3 car right here in white. Uh, looking at up the specs, it has a 262 mile range, a top speed of 140 miles and 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds. And there are three types of Model 3 that I can choose from. There's the standard range plus at about $40,000 the long range at $50,000 and the performance at $57,000. Looking at the difference between uh, the three model, you can see that the long range uh, goes to 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds and the full performance uh, in 3.1 seconds. In terms of range, the standard range plus has 262 miles, the uh, long range has 353 miles, and the performance at 350 miles. In terms of top speed, uh, the standard range plus has 140, long range 145, and the performance at 162. Uh, the standard range plus is a rear wheel drive, and both the uh, long range and performance are all wheel drive. For my knees, I think that the standard range plus fits my knees perfectly, so I'm gonna stick with that. Going down further on the specs page, there's also the different paint color that I can choose from. There's white that's included in the price. Uh, if we click on the black, it's an extra $1,000. Same with the gray color, same with the blue color. And then for the red color, there's an uh, extra $2,000. Not sure why, maybe it's more flashy. But for me, I think that the white color looks really nice, really elegant, really clean. I'm going to be happy with it. Going down to the wheel choice, uh, there's the option between the aero wheels, 18 inch, or the sports wheel at 19 inch. I think I'm happy with the 18 aero wheels. I will uh, pick that. Uh, going down further to the interior, there's the option to choose between the black interior or the white interior. I'm going to choose the black interior because I think that it hides dirt and stain really well. I just don't want to see a stain on a white color car. I think that just ruined my image of the car as a whole. So I'm going to stick with the black color for my sanity. Going down to the full driving capability, I think that this is a great feature. I just don't think that it's there yet uh, and it costs about $10,000. So while I like this kind of technology, I don't think it's up to what we need yet. So I'm going to hold up on this uh, and maybe buy this at a later time. But for now, I'm going to skip. Going down to continue the payment, do that. And then here's the payment page. It just gives me a summary of what I have chosen. And then I could also look at all the costs and all the credits that I will get. I'm going to ignore the credits for now because I just want to focus purely on costs uh, that I need to pay uh, out the door when I get the car. So $40,000 plus tax plus the delivery and dock fee. I think it will come out to be about $45,000 where I live in California. So keep in mind, this is the cost of my car at $45,000. Now we all know that car generally goes down in value. It doesn't matter if it's gas power or electric power. So it's arguably the worst kind of investment. Hence, being a savvy business person, investor, I want to find a way to get the car for $0. Zip. Well, you may think that's not possible or even think that I'm a bit crazy, you know. But after giving some thought, I finally got it. I decided to take on a challenge to use the money that was supposed to go toward buying a car, but instead use it to buy Tesla stocks. My goal is to double my money so I can use the gains in my Tesla stock to pay off the car entirely. So in this video, I'll share how much I invested in Tesla stocks and the web price and my progress toward reaching my goal. 
And you watch till the end, I will also share an important money lesson that rich people live by, that poor people don't. If this video gets a lot of likes and views, then I will do an update on this in the future. So a year ago in September 2020, I bought 75 shares of Tesla stock at an average price of $1,418, which equates to me spending $31,326. And in March 2021 of this year, I bought an additional 8 share at the stock price of $600, which I spent $4,800. And then in May 2021, I bought 17 share at the stock price of $16, where I spent $10,200. So in total, I have 100 share of Tesla stocks at an average basis of $460.26, where I spent the total of $46,326. And reporting on my progress as of Monday, September 20th, I'm up 50% or 26691 Considering I need about $45,000 to buy the car, I am about 59% there, so a little more than halfway. Currently, the stock sits at about $730, so I would need the stock to hit $915 to reach my goal. Kathy Wood, an American investor and CEO of Art Invest, believes that Tesla stock could hit $3,000 by 2025. That's a lofty goal. Elon Musk concurs with her analysis and predictions. If her prediction is true or somewhere close to it, I think I'm in pretty good shape. The key point I want to make in this video is for us to practice the investor mindset and think outside the box. Instead of using my principal amount to buy the car that will lose 15% the moment I drive off the lot, so I opted to use to buy stock to generate enough money to pay for the car in full, essentially get the car for free. This is also an important lesson in one of my favorite books, uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, which states that rich people spend money to acquire assets such as stock investment or real estate that go up in value over time while poor people tend to spend money to acquire liability such as car or a boat that goes down in value so we're thinking about spending money to acquire assets instead of liability we will reach financial independence very quickly that's all for today please give the video a like if you got value if you're new here consider subscribing it's free to you and it helps me support my channel Feel free to leave any comments or questions down below. I read and respond to all of them. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Until next time, take care and goodbye.